Sportsman's Park in St. Louis is the setting for Game 3 of the 2006 Total Classics World Series between the 64 Cardinals and the 84 Tigers. And the Cardinals already have a commanding 2 0 lead in the series. As here we are in Game 3, and the Detroit Tigers are in a must win situation to say the least. And on the mound is 20 game winner Ray Sadecki for St. Louis, and there's the defense behind him. As a matter of fact, a couple defensive changes. Lou Brock is now in left fields, and Mike Shannon, who is the DH back in Detroit, is now over in right. And here's Lou Whitaker to start it off for Detroit. 289 hitter. And here's the first pitch. It's a third boyer with a nice play for the first out of the inning. And here's Alan Trammell. No changes in the Detroit line except for the fact that now the pitcher is batting ninth. Count 1-0. Detroit has seven bats on their bench just in case they uh, need some extra offense. Ground ball to first for Bill White. Two gone. And here's Kirk Gibson. 282 hitter. 27 homers, 91 on the eyes. And there's a swing and a miss with a curveball count 0 1. The 0 1 pitch. Fastball outside, count 1 and 1. Gibson, believe it or not, had a flying record back in 1987 with a Cessna. So I guess he's a pilot of some sort. Here's the 1 1. And that one flies to deep left center field. Can we say goodbye? Yes, we can. Gibson's second home run of the series. And the Tigers have a 1 0 lead. And that's exactly what they need right now. Lefty against lefty, and Gibson still hits it opposite field. Just over the 379 foot side. Here's Lance Parrish. 33 homers, 98 RBIs. So you know this guy has some power. Count 1 0. He just hasn't had the opportunity to show it yet. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Count 2-0. Big wheel looks at 2-0. Ground ball to first. There's White. And he steps on the bag for the final out of the inning. So the Cardinals get their chance to bat here in the bottom of the first inning. And we'll take a look at Detroit starting pitcher Milt Wilcox. 17 and 8 with an area of 4. No defensive changes for the Tigers here in game 3. And here's Lou Brock to lead it off. And the first pitch. It's a left field, and it dunks in for a base hit right in front of Larry Herndon. So a good start for the Cardinals back in the top of the first, in the first bottom of the first inning. Excuse me. Here's Kurt Flood, 311 hitter. Clock off first, but he gets checked out. Flood squares the bunt. But it's low with a slur. Count 1-0. Oh. Another bunt opportunity. Bunts one right back to Wilcox. He throws the first for the sure out. One gone and Brock moves the second. And here's Bill White. 303, 21 homers, 102 RBIs. Fastball right on the inside corner. Count 0-1. St. Louis has four lefties in their lineup, not including the pitcher. Count on two. Pitcher Ray Sadecki in the number nine position. Brock off second. Here's the 0-2. Low with a fork ball. Count one and two. 
Wilcox has got quite an arsenal with the fork ball, the slurve, and the curve ball. And there's the curve ball right there, count two and two. The 2 2 pitch. Inside, the count runs full. One on, one out, one up in Tigers. Here's the payoff to White. It's a first. Nice play by Evans. He steps on the bag for the second out. And Rock moves over to third. And here's Ken Boyer. Boyer, the National League MVP back in 1964. Hits one to left center field. That's a base hit. Kerrigan cuts it off. And now it's a tie game one to one. Beautiful piece of hitting by Ken Boyer, and here's Tim McCarver now. McCarver sneaks one up the middle for a base hit. Boyer's going to move over to third, and he's, he's going to get there easily. Runners on the corners, two out, and here's Dick Rowe. The first pitch. Hits a right field. This could be trouble. Base hit in the corner. One run scores. Grote moves to second. It's an RBI double for Dick Grote. And the Cardinals now take a 2-1 to one lead. Here's the first pitch to Mike Shannon. High with a fourth ball count. 1-0. So Wilcox getting rucked up. Roughed up like his uh, like his predecessors in games one and two. Count two and zero. Julian and Javier are waiting on deck. The two zero. There's a fastball. Count two and one. Two runners in scoring position. Two gone. Here in the bottom of the first. Hit the second. Whitaker. The first. And mercifully, that's going to end the inning. So Wilcox surrenders two. It's now two to one St. Louis as we head to the top of the second. It'll be Evans, Herndon, and Chet Lemon against the lefty, Ray Sadecki. There's a fastball inside, count one and oh. The 1 0 pitch. There's a change, count 1 1. One, one pitch. Inside with the slider, count 2 and 1. Two, one from Sadeki. 3 and 1 now. Let's see if Sparky Anderson gives Evans the green light here on 3 and 1. Here's the pitch. High with a slider, and he works a leadoff walk. So the time runs now stands at first base. Here's Larry Herndon. And the pitch. High with a fastball count, 1 0. Evans with a modest leadoff first pitch. Swing and a miss to the slow curveball, count one and one. One one from Sadeki. Count two and one with the change outside. Two one St. Louis, top of the second. Two one to Larry Herndon. There's a backdoor slider, count two and two now. Evan stays put the two two. Swing and a miss at the high heat. And he goes down swinging. Now one on, one out. Here's Chet Lemon. There's a curveball that drops in there for a strike. Count on one. A one from Sadeki. High with a fastball count. One and one. Evan still with that modest lead at first. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. This could be two. Throw to second one. Wide throw. Doesn't get Lemon at first. 
I think Boyer kind of rushed that throw a little bit. Threw it wide of, wide of the bag at second. Javier had to stretch to get that ball. Here's Howard Johnson, switch hitter batting from the right hand side. And Lemme gets checked over at first. Third ball, count 1 and 0. As a matter of fact, Howard Johnson is the only switch hitter for both teams. Believe that. Count 1 0. There's a strike count 1 and 1. Lemon off first. Here's the 1 1. Drops low. Count 2 and 1. The 2 0. Ground ball to short. Groats. Against the green, fires the first in time. And that's going to do it. We head to the bottom of the second. St. Louis with a one run lead. It's Julian Javier to lead it off. And the pitch. Slurve outside count 1 0. It'll be Javier, Sadecki, and Brock. 8 9 1 against Wilcox. Swing and a miss, count one and one at the fastball. One one pitch. Trying to get him to chase. That was a bite, count two and one. Two one from Wilcox. Count three and one now. Pitcher in the on deck circle, three one. And Javier works the lead off walk. I don't care if the pitcher's up next, you're not supposed to surrender a lead off walk. Here's Sadek. 160 hitter. That's pretty good for a pitcher. Wilcox almost threw it away. Sadeki squares the bunt, takes it back. With the slur of count 1 0. Sadecki squares up again. Hits one down the third base side, but foul. So he'll get another chance. Count level at one and one. He needs to check back once again. And again. Sadecki squares. This time foul down the first baseline. So it takes the bunt out of play. Let's see what happens here. One, two. Outside of the curve, pound two and two. Javier with a good lead off at first. The two, two to Sadeki. Hits one, left field. Johnson in foul territory makes the grab. Here's Lou Brock, he's one for one so far in the day. And the pitch. Javier goes, here's the throw. He's out of there. Great throw by Lance Parrish. Here's the 0-1. Hit left field side. Johnson makes the catch. And that's going to end the inning. So a costly base running mistake. Cuts the Tigers a break. We head to the top of the third. And here's Milk Wilcox to lead it off. It'll be Wilcox, Whitaker, and Trammell. Swing and miss count on one. Oh, one pitch. There's a swing and miss count on two. And the delivery. He gone, as they would say in Chicago. So there's one out. Here's Whitaker. Lefty against lefty. And the pitch. Change down low. Count 1-0. and oh. 1-0 pitch. 
Break one. Back to a slider. Count one and one. And here's the delivery. Swing and a miss. Count one and two. Nubs right in front of the mound. McCarver runs in front of the mound. And there's the second out of the inning. Nice heads up play there by Tim McCarver. Ball bounced right in front of the plate. McCarver got up, scrambled about five feet in front of him, and made the play. And here's Alan Trammell with two outs. Here at the top of the third inning, Cardinals with a 2-1 lead. Here's the pitch. Popped up, left side. All that foul territory. Doesn't matter where does it get there in time. It's a foul ball. And the 0-1 pitch. Count 1-1. One one. Just like Tiger Stadium, Sportsman's Park has a lot of foul territory. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Hits a right field. Shannon camps under it to make the grab. We head to the bottom of the inning. 2-1 St. Louis. And here's Kurt Flood to lead it off. It'll be 2 3 and 4. Flood, White, and Boyer. And if anybody gets on, Tim McCarver. And Flood hits one deep to left. First pitch. And Herndon on the warning track makes the catch. So Flood gave it a ride. Here's Bill White. Four, four count one and zero. Oh. Speaking of giving it a ride, White hit a massive three-run home run back in Game One, and that ended up being the difference maker. Ground ball to second. Here's Whitaker, and there's out number two. Here's Ken Boyer. Swing and a miss to the fourth ball outside. He went fishing and he came up empty. Count 0 and 1. And here's the pitch. Hits one off the foot of Wilcox. This is going to be a tough play. And he's going to make it there by about three steps. And they're going to rule out a base hit. Fairly enough, there was no way that Wilcox was going to make that play. And here's Tim McCarvin. Warrior off first to pitch. High with the fourth ball count, 1 0. Now Dick Grote is waiting on deck. 1 0 pitch. Inside count, 2 0 now. Right handed Wilcox against the left handed McCarvin. The 2 0. Hits one deep to left center. But Herndon camps under it. He's got it. We head to the fourth, still 2 1 St. Louis. With the heart of the order coming up for Detroit. Speaking of the heart of the order, here's the heart of the offense and Kirk Gibson. He had a home run his last time up. And he pops it up this time. Hey, it's high in the air. Warriors got this one. One out. Here's Lance Parrish. D8 time all star. The pitch. Slider inside. Count 1 0. Darrell Evans waiting on deck. Curveball curves in there for a strike. Count 1 and 1. And the pitch from Sadecki. Hit deep to left field. A no doubter. That one's gone. A 400 foot shot. Oh, excuse me. 399 foot shot by Lance Parrish. And this ball game's tied up at two. And we talked before about Lance Parrish's power. He just showed it right there as he pounded a deep fly to left center field.
that was much to the dismay of the Cardinals fans here in St. Louis. Here's Darrell Evans, lefty against lefty. Inside with a slider count, 1-0. Here's the 1-0. Inside once again, count 2-0. Evans walked his last time up. Hits one to short. Wrote, nice play to his left. And there's an out. <laughs> Seemed obvious enough. Here's Larry Herndon. He struck out his first time. Popped up, center field. Her flood takes the grab. But the Tigers break even. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Dick Road will lead it off. Six, seven, eight. That's the order. Broke Shannon and Javier against Milt Wilcox. Inside with count one and zero. Oh. The 1 0 delivery. Down 2 0. So Wilcox now has an opportunity to put that nightmare of a first inning behind him. It's a tie game now. A brand new ball game. Hits it short. Nice play by Trammell for the first out. Here's Mike Shannon. The pitch. Hits a third. Nice play by Johnson against the grain. Fires! Oh, it gets past Evans! It's going to be an E5 on Howard Johnson. Throw was wide. Evans couldn't get a hold of it. And even, he, even if he could, it's a heck of a play to get off the bag like that. And here's Julian Javier. Now there's a runner at second with one out and the pitch. One and oh. So let's see if the Cardinals can capitalize on that error. The one oh. Count two and oh. Sadeki, the pitcher, awaits on deck. The two oh. It's a deep left. Going back is Herndon. Looking up. It's gone! A two-run blast by Julian Javier. And the Cardinals are back into the swing of things. They lead it 4-2. to two. Here's Ray Sadecki. Here's the pitch. It's a right field. But it's going to be foul. <laughs> it's still going to be caught nonetheless by Kirk Gibson. What a play. Here's Lou Brock, one for two. And the pitch. Foul, count, 0 and 1. A one. It's a deep center field. Well, 11 is there, about 377 feet away. And that's going to end the inning. We head to the fifth. And Lemon, who just made the final out, will start it off. And here's Chet Lemon right now against Ray Sadecki. Slider count 1 0. Cardinals with a 4 2 lead, top of the fifth. 1 0 count. Make that 2-0. and oh. It'll be Lemon, Howard Johnson, and the pitcher spot. Count 2-1. and one. I say the pitcher spot because they could call up a pinch hitter for Wilcox. He has given up four runs in four innings. Swing and a miss count 2-2. Two and two. Got three lefties on the bench. 2-2. Two, two. Count three and two. And you have four righties, including Tom Brookings. Swing and a strike three. And Lemon goes down swinging. Here's Howard Johnson, 0 for 1. 
Made that crucial error last inning. Let's see if he can make up for it. There's a foul pitch. Down 0 1. Oh, 1. Hit the short. Groats. To his right. Fires. He got it. Two gone. Well, Wilcox is going to stay in there. I don't quite agree with this move. Let's see what happens. Here's the first pitch. And what do you know? Wilcox gets a base hit up the middle. Sparky Anderson, I will never doubt you again. <laughs> Here's Lou Whitaker. Who would have thunk the pitcher, an American League pitcher nonetheless, would get a base hit? Count 1-0. Which proves the point. Anything can happen in baseball. Here's the 1-0. Count 2-0. Wilcox off first. The 2-0. Foul ball. 2-1. And, and Alan Trammell awaiting on deck. One on, two out. 2-1 two from Sadecki. Just missed with the curveball count. 3-1. Swing and a miss of the fastball. Count runs four. That could have been ball four right there, so. Barker did give him the green light. And that pitch is fouled away, so he stays alive. And the payoff. Runner, runner goes. Fouled once again away. He goes again, 3-2. Hits a third, Boyer. And that's going to end the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. 4-2 St. Louis. Kurt Flood will start it off. Hits one to center field. That's going to be a base hit. Couple hops in front of Lemon. That's the ideal way to start it in with a leadoff base hit. And here's Bill White. And Flood gets checked on at first. And again. And the pitch. Inside with the slurve count one and oh. And the delivery runner goes. Pitch is taken. The throw is not in time. So the gamble pays off. Flood is now standing at second base rather than first. Throw is just a little bit too high for Trammell. So he, so Flood squeaks in there. Hit down the right field line. Just foul. And count now two and one. Here's the pitch. Now the way count now level and two and two. Flood off second. The pitch. Inside count runs full of three and two. Ken Boyer waiting on that. Here's the payoff. Runner stays. Strike three. Take a seat, Bill White. Here comes Ken Boyer. One on, one out. Wilcox deals. Foul the run. Oh, one. Swing and a miss in the fourth ball count. Only two. I tell you what, that pitch had some movement on it. 0-2 Popped up Short right field Going to be a tough play It dunks in there for a base hit One run will score RBI single For Ken Boyer 
Make it a 5-2 ball game now. Here's Tim McCarver. Fork ball low in the zone count, 1-0. At this point, Tigers got to get somebody warmed up in their bullpen. PDQ. Count 1-1. One and one. Dick Grove, the shortstop, waiting on deck. Boyer off first. The 1-1. One, one. High fastball, 2-1. 5-2 St. Louis here, bottom of the fifth. 2-1 pitch. Good foul down the right field side. Count 2-2. Two two. And Wilcox delivers. Low, and once again, the count runs full. 3-2. Boyer gets the go sign, the pitch. Hits a right field, gets it back. At the warning track, makes the catch. So a laser beam shot goes for not. Here's Dick Rowe, one for two. With that RBI double. Back in the first. Ground ball to short, Trammell. Nice play, the throw first. In time. We head to the six, ladies and gentlemen. Five to St. Louis. Here's Alan Trammell to lead it off. It'll be Trammell, Gibson, and Parrish. And the pitch from Sadecki. Hit up the middle into left center field base hit. Both teams establishing the leadoff single. Just the Cardinals have more to show for. Here's Gibson. Ground ball to third. Could be two. Throw to second. One. On to first. Here's a 55-4-3 DP. Nice play by Javier. I think it Gibson by good step. So now two gone, here's Lance Parrish. Hit a home run his last time in the left field. Count one and out. Darrell Evans awaiting on deck. And the pitch. Count two and out. Sadecki. Two oh delivery. Make that 3 0. Sadecki staying st steered clear away from Lance Parrish. Here's the 3 0. Count 3 and 1 now. See so if he gets the green light. 3 1. You'd rather take the free pass. That's a good idea. So here comes Darrell Evans. Lefty against lefty. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Parrish off first. The pitch. Count 1 and 0. Here's the pitch. Hit down the left field line. That's going to be a base hit. Parrish is going to stop at second. He does have catcher's legs, so it's now first and second. Larry Herman trying to get his first in the game. And the pitch. Once again, hit down the left field line. Base hit. Parrish will round third. He will score. It's an RBI single for Larry Herman. It's a 5 3 ball game now. Tigers still threatening. Go ahead run now standing at the plate in Chet Lemon. Crowd here in St. Louis getting restless. The pitch. Fouled away. Ron Taylor and Gordy Richardson warming in the St. Louis bullpen.
own one pitch. Count one and one. Hit to first. White flips over to Sadeki. Nice play. He steps on the back. It's going to end the inning. We go to the bottom of the inning. 7 8 9, starting with Mike Shannon. 5 3 St. Louis. And Wilcox still on the down. Pitch. Inside with a fourth ball count 1 0. Foul the way. Count one and one. Pitch from Wilcox. Hit up the middle. What a grab by Lou Whitaker. Doing it like only a veteran can do. Yes, indeed. Here's Julian Javier. Pitch. Down one and zero. And the delivery. Count two and up. Two to Javier. Make that three and out. Easier said than done. Javier didn't have to swing the bat at all. It's a four pitch walk. And Johnny Lewis is going to step up to the plate. Left-handed hitter against the right-handed Wilcox, and here's the pitch. Outside 1-0. So the Cardinals have expended their only left-handed bat off the bench. The 1-0 pitch. Hit deep to right field. The Gibson will track it down. He makes the catch. And the Tigers have some bullpen activity of their own. Doug Bear and Bill Scherer. And we've still yet to see Willie Hernandez in this series. He's new Brock. Cardinals offense has taken him out of the equation as far as save situations go. Hit to center field. Base hit. Here's the throw to third. He's in there. And Brock heads the second. Nice dive there by Javier. Nice heads up base running by Lou Brock. Is for a flood. Two runners in scoring position, two gone. Here's the pitch. Slurve count one and out. This might be Wilcox's last batter. Here's the pitch. Count two and out. Wilcox and the Tigers both need to escape this jam right now. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Hit deep to center field. Falls in front of Lemon, base hit. One run scores. Two runs will score. A two run single for Kerf Flood. And the Cardinals once again trying to break it wide open. They lead 7 to 3. Sparky's making the move. They're making the call. And here comes Bill Scherer. One and one with an ERA of almost five. And he'll face Bill White to start it off. Lefty against lefty. And Flood gets checked on at first. Down one and zero. And once again, the check at first. One out of white. 
count 2-0. Oh. So figure if this Cardinal lead holds up, game 4 will probably see Jack Morris. 2-0 pitch. Down 2-1. Two one to White, swing and a miss. Went fishing there. Count two and two. Cardinals do have Rosima and Berenger. Two two, just foul away. Second. St. Louis fans aren't really digging this at all. The 2 2 pitch. Strike three. Strike three. There he goes. We head to the seventh now. It's a 7 3 St. Louis lead. It'll be 8 9 and 1. Johnson, the pitcher spot, and Lou Whitaker. Let's see what the Tigers decide to do here. Here's the pitch from Gordy Richardson, who just came in. Down 0 and 1. Popped up. Short right fields. Javier coming on. And he'll make the grab. Nice play there by Javier. For the first out. Just as I thought. Here comes the left handed hitter, Rupert Jones, off the bench. Count one and zero. Oh. Whitaker waiting on deck. Lefty against lefty. Ball. Two and zero. Oh. Two and oh pitch to Jones. Left center field. It's going to be in the gap. Looks like Sparky Anderson picked the right guy. Jones has a pinch hit double. Here's Lou Whitaker looking for his first hit of the game. Jones up at second. One out. Pitch. Ground ball to first. He does his job. Two outs. And Jones heads over to third. And Tom Brookins now coming in as the pinch hitter for Alan Tramble. Count 1-0. So Detroit here rolling the dice here in St. Louis. Pulling Trammell for Tom Brookins. Check swing did not go around. Count 2-0. Jones at third. The 2-0 to Tom Brookins. Nice play by Boyer, and that's going to be the final out of the inning. Time for the seventh inning stretch brought to you by EA Sports' MVP Baseball 2005, Kuka Creations, and the good people at Total Classics 6. Here's Ken Boyer. Three for three with a couple of ribbies thus far. And the pitch. I count one and oh. Looks like Doug Bear on the mound for the Tigers. Fouled away. Then again, I could be wrong. Just have to wait and see. Here's the one one pitch. Strike two. That a one and two count now to Ken Boyer. It'll be Boyer, McCarver, and Grote. Here against the Detroit pitcher here in the seventh. Count two and two with the slider. It's a left field base hit. So another leadoff single. Here comes Tim McCarver. Checks over at first. From the stretch. 
check swing did not go around on that low slider. Count one and one. Count two and one. Seven three St. Louis, bottom of the seventh thing. Two zero to Tim McCarver. Right one. Here's a strike with the slider. Count two and one. Swing and a miss. Count two and two. Dick Rota waiting on deck. Runner off Fertz gets checked. The 2 2. Dribbles the first. Evans drops the ball. Runs to the back. Oh, he got him! Let's take a look at that again. In and out of the glove. Picks it up. Runs over the bag. Looks like Sid, Mo Sid Mong is on the mound for the Tigers. Caught a glimpse in the back of the jersey. Count 0 1. My apologies to Sid Mong. Down the way. Count 0 2. May have to apologize again because uh, I may not be pronouncing his name correctly. Strike three. Two. Swing and a miss, strike three. There goes Groats. And here comes Mike Shannon. Looking for his first end of the game. The pitch. Count 1 0. Javier waiting on deck. The 1 0. Foul the way. Number 9 spot, the pitcher spot. He's on deck. Up the middle. Over the glove of Whitaker in the right center field. Lemon will cut it off, but another run will score. Runner heads the second. He slides, he's in there. Gutsy base running there by Mike Shannon just makes it. It's an RBI double for Mike Shannon, and it's now an 8 to 3 ball game. This Julian Javier. Swing and a miss, count on one. Now the pitcher spot is on deck. Javier was on deck before. Now he's up at the plate now. Count on two. O2 pitch. There's a strike three. We head to the eighth. St. Louis with a five run lead. And we'll see the heart of the Tigers order. Starting with Kirk Gibson. And we got Lance Parrish and Darrell Evans. An overrated shot starting here. An overrated chant starting here in St. Louis. Excuse me. Get to the right side. Javier. One guy. You can tell this cold's really getting to me, folks. <laughs> Here's Lance Parrish. 8 3 top of the 8. Here's the pitch. Count 1 0. The 1 0. Get right back to the pitcher. Two gone. This is Darrell Evans. Lefty against lefty. And the delivery. And Richardson throws a pitch outside count 1 0. Ball. 2 0. Chances are this will be Richardson's last batter. Here's the 2 0 pitch. It's a right field. Coming on is Shannon. 
He makes the grab. Get to the bottom of the eighth. Line one and two in the order. And Richards is actually going to get a chance to at bat. Had a hit back in 64. Popped up. Second base. Whitaker makes the catch. Barney Schultz, the closer. This is not a safe situation. He's getting warmed up. Here's Lou Brock, two for four with the double. There's a screwball count on one. There's another screwball on the inside corner of the play count on two. Kurt Flood waiting on deck. Another screwball count one and two. And here's the pitch. Hit just foul. Count stays at one and two. Just missed with a fastball count two and two. And here's the pitch to Lou Brock. Count runs full. And here's the payoff. Strike three. Beautiful curveball. Got him chasing. Two outs now. Here's Kurt Flood. And the screwball up in the zone. Count one and oh. Bill White waiting on deck. One oh pitch. Popped up. Short right field. Gibson makes the catch. We head to the ninth. It'll be Herman, Levin, Johnson. And Gordy Richards is still on the mound. Up the middle, base hit into center field. Here's Chet Lemon. Over for three with a strikeout. And here's the pitch. Popped up. Short right field. White on the outfield grass. He drops the ball. Well, it doesn't really matter anyway. The run is going to be out at second. Here's Barbaro Garvey. Pinch hitting for Howard Johnson. Here's the pitch. There's a strike count on one. Lemon leading off first. The 0-1. One. one and one. Pitcher spot up next in the order. See what they decide to do. 1-1. One, one. Curveball check swing. Did he go? He went. Says the first base umpire. Here's the one, two. Hey, full V. He gives a check. Back to first. Here's the one, two. Throws to the plate this time, and he gets the K. Now Johnny Grubb coming off the bench. 267 hitter. Two outs, top of the ninth. Cardinals are one out away from making this a 3-0 series lead. There's a strike for Johnny Grubb, the left-handed hitter. And it's the left-handed Gordy Richardson. And another check back at first. And again. And the pitch. Outside with the fourth ball count, one and one. Another left-handed hitter, Lou Whitaker, waiting on deck. Strike two. There's a strike count, one and two. One strike away, the one-two. 
Hits a deep left field. Brock is there. And the Cardinals take game three. And they're ready to clinch. Game four is tomorrow night.